Quantra. Yeah, Ben, go ahead. Quantra, as you said, to all the students, you guys come, we'll be ringing the bell all night. When, when you guys gonna start ringing the bell? You know when you get it? Um, ASAP, man. Um, yeah, like you said, you know, when I talked to them, you know, at the student union, you know, it was a big thing. We want that bell, and I'm glad that we earned it. We earned it very well, played hard, and yeah, as soon as we get it, we're not going to stop bringing it. <laughs> Hey, Kyle, it looked like several times USC was bringing a safety up closer to the line and it allowed you guys to get behind the defensive backs. There were some wide open spaces. What were you seeing out there on, on some of those huge throws from DTR? Yeah, a lot of times they're uh, bringing the safety down. You know, they got to stay close to the box. And then when you got a running back like uh, Zach Charbonnet, so they're bringing the, the, the safeties down a lot to, you know, try and help in the run. You know, and then when you got guys like Kaz that can take it over the top, you know, it's just a problem for them, so they bring it down. Coach noticed it, called the plays, and you know, we were able to score points off of it. Quantrez, uh, 62, 62 <laughs> points for the offense, but obviously the defense uh, was a huge part of that. You know, what can you say about what the defense did in this game, especially considering the criticism you guys have received? Um, yeah, I say we just um, really believed in ourselves and, and just made the play. You know, um, we had Q Lake make a pick, we had Cam make a pick, come up big time for us. And, you know, we been knew that we had, we, <clears throat> We been knew that we can do this. It's just all, all a matter of making the play, and I said we did that very well tonight, and, and we're just going to keep it going. All right, uh, Kyle, we saw Dorian stick the landing on that uh, ball. Uh, what was it like to see that? It almost felt like you knew that he wanted to make a big play like that to kind of send, send you guys out in a big way. Yeah, no, that, that was insane. Uh, we saw him break for the run, and, you know, like, all right, is he going to score? Is he going to go to the bounds? And then, we should have expected it, cause, you know, he's always trying to hurdle someone, but you know, and then he actually cleared the guy, you know, it was, the whole sideline just went insane. You know, it's, it finally happened. We've been waiting for it to happen. Right. You know, he's been trying so long, so, you know, it just absolutely fired the whole sideline up and it was, it was really awesome. For both of you guys, just the last eight quarters, cause you scored the, the 38, 39 straight points against Colorado, showing like this. Was there just something during that Colorado game where it just set you guys off? For, the, for that game and for this one where everything just kind of put it together? Oh, uh, you know, I wouldn't say there's any specific thing. Just, you know, when we're not scoring points, it's usually just from self-inflicted wounds, you know. We make a lot of mistakes. We'll get penalties, you know, miss something, you know. <clears throat> we've worked really hard in practice, you know, to keep that from happening, and we've been really locked in, making very few mistakes. And when we do that, you know, we're able to score a lot of points. Yeah, could you, both of you, USC was demoralized? Could you tell at some point in the game? Um, not really, you know. Um, we just knew that we had to keep going. We had this thing that um, it's one, it's the first quarter for us every quarter. So, you know, um, as long as we keep that mentality, it don't matter what the other team is doing. We just want to start strong, finish stronger, start fast, finish faster. You know, just picking back up on um, last week's game versus Colorado, I feel, I feel as though we came out and, and started fast and was able to, you know, just keep it going. So I don't know if you guys have heard this or not, but 62 is the most of UCLA teams ever put up in the series. Knowing that you have a part that uh, might last for a pretty long time, how does that feel? Uh, I mean, someday your kids or grandkids will see something that's a like UCLA record. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's an amazing feeling. You know, it's even better that, you know, uh, Ethan Fernando was able to get one of those too. Cause, uh, I know you guys talked to Dorian and uh, Kaz about a little bit, but, you know, our guys, one of the best teammates you could ever have. You know, he worked so hard, you know, and it's unfortunate he broke his hand. You know, he's able to score a touchdown with it, you know, add to that historic game. You know, it's just, just a phenomenal feeling. Time for just a couple more. Let's go to Ben. You guys always celebrate wins really well in the locker room with the water spring and all that. What Was this one special? What was it like? Um, this was this one was definitely special. You know, this is our um, crosstown rivalry game, and you know it means everything to this city, to to this program, to 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 everyone in the Bruin community. So you know, we definitely celebrated this like never before. You know, <laughs> um, I wish you guys were just in the locker room so you can see it. You know, it was an amazing feeling. Um, it was an amazing way for our seniors to you know um, go out. You know, um, be in SC and you know just just keep it going, just um, not stop here and just get better and better. Touchdown. Are you guys old enough or if you look at old film to know about the Marcus Allen Super Bowl run where it goes one way, it goes the other? Yeah, I haven't seen it, no. <laughs> All right, let's go to one more with Sam. 
Kyle, uh, I think Dorian after his first four completions, 16 and 18, got all those yards. His, his passer rating that time was over 300. Mm -hmm. So how crazy is that to kind of play with a quarterback who succeeds at that level in such a big moment? Yeah, it's, it's insane. You know, Dorian is just such a talented quarterback. You know, a lot of people think, you know, it's just like, he makes a lot of big plays on his feet, but, you know, he's got a phenomenal arm. You know, he's a very poised, smart quarterback. He makes the right decisions. And, you know, it just it makes my job a lot easier, you know, being able to play with someone like that. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you. All right.